Welcome to a new episode of Arabia Unboxing uh, Lego Edition, where we, <coughs> well, where, where I unbox uh, a Lego set. I build it. You get to watch it through a time lapse, and uh, I give you some uh, interesting historical facts about the build. And today is an actually is actually a historical build because today I'm gonna unbox and build. Uh, the set from Lego Architecture, the Great Pyramid of Giza. It's not one of the largest set, it only has only uh, 1,476 pieces. It is though an 18 uh, plus marked set. We can look at the set here, we see, well, it's, it's interesting because we, we don't get like the full pyramid uh, because in the back we see there it's, it's kind of cut away which gives us, uh, and then we get to see like a bit of the inners of the pyramid and we get to the tomb here. And then uh, what's really cool is you can actually remove the top and then you can see a bit of the way it was while it was being built. A lot of controversies about how the pyramids were built, but we'll just stick with uh, what the historians tell us. The structure's architect, Hemi Unu, determined he would need 20 years to finish the royal tomb. But what he could not predict was that this monument would remain the world's tallest man-made structure for over 3,800 years. So let's uh, start by unboxing this. Okay, as usual, we'll put it in the back so you can see it. Building instructions. Not usually found. Oh, we are in the process of switching from plastic to paper-based packaging, which is good for the planet. Well done, Lego. Now that everything's in order, shall we begin? Okay, so the Great uh, Pyramid of Giza was uh, finally done. Uh, not one of the larger sets uh, that I've built and that you've seen on video here, but uh, comp for, for an architecture set, it is actually one of the larger sets. So let's take a look at the final build here. We can see a lot of details. So you have the Nile River and two Falukas, and then here we have a small village uh, made of small huts, uh, an obelisk. On this side, we have two smaller pyramids. So the the, the big per the larger pyramid was uh, known to have the sarcophagus of Khufu. So here, uh, probably some of his family, and then here you can see uh, three little uh, sphinxes, and then the entrance of the pyramid here that goes. Uh, all the way up inside. On the sides, we can see some sand dunes. So a lot of details. Uh, this may look like a boring build, but it's not actually, it really isn't. And so, well, we only have half a pyramid because if you look at the back here, you can see the de So we see the details that lead to the sarcophagus here. In the smaller pyramids, you actually also get like small sarcophaguses. You see, you get you get small sarcophaguses, 
inside the smaller pyramids. Now, what is really uh, cool about this build is you can actually remove the top of the pyramid. Here you go. And then you get some more details uh, about probably the way they were being built, even though, you know, nobody's really knows exactly how they were built. There's a lot of theories, so probably this is a bit of a guesswork, but you'd see like sliding pathways. On the back of this, you see how it was really, like the structure is really well done. That is the Pyramid of Giza, a nice build. I hope you enjoyed this build. I hope you enjoyed some of the history we tried to give you during the time lapse. And I'll see you again in another episode of Arabia Unboxing, Lego build, time lapse, history facts, and everything. Thank you for watching. If you like this episode, don't forget to subscribe and watch our other Lego episodes if you're a Lego fan. And I'll see you in another episode. And until then, stay safe. Thank you for watching. Bye, everybody.